Hi, this video will show you how to create dynamic graph with Microsoft Excel. What is a dynamic graph? Let's watch the demonstration about the graph of y equal to mx plus c by changing the values of m and c. I have created a document using Microsoft Excel to demonstrate the graph of y equal to mx plus c by changing the value of m and value of c. At the moment, the value of m is 5 and c is equal to 0. I have two vertical scroll bar to control the value of m and the value of c. Now let me click on the vertical scroll bar control the value of m. And I decrease the value of m to 3, the graph will also change accordingly. And decrease the value of m again to 2, now y equals 2x. Decrease the value of m to 1, y equals x now. Let me increase the value of c now. I can click the vertical scroll bar, control the value of c. Increase the c value to 1. Notice the graph has changed, equation has changed. Increase the value of c to 2. Increase the value of c to 3. Increase the value of c to 4. Notice that the graph has changed. Now I can control, changing the value of m again. Let's increase the m value to 2. Notice that now is y equal to x plus 4. So this is what I mean by dynamic graph in Excel. So, how do we create this Excel worksheet? Step 1. Create a table for y equal to mx plus c with the value of x equal to 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And we have set m equal to 2 and c equal to 3. Let's open a spreadsheet and type some text such as the graph of y equal to mx plus c and a table consists of x and y where x equal to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and I'm going to compute the value of y according to y equal to mx plus c. Now I put m equal to 2 and c equal to 3 in the beginning. Let's compute the y based on y equal to mx plus c. So I enter the formula in the cell E7 as equal to, so I'm going to type dollar sign, m is an entry in E4. So I'm going to type dollar sign, E dollar sign, 4 times the value of x which is in d7 d7 plus the value of c which is in g4 so i'll type dollar sign g dollar sign 4 and i press enter that is the value of y when m equal to 2 c equal to 3 and x equal to 1 now let's copy this formula and paste to the rest of the table. I got a table consists of x and y now. Step 2. I'm going to draw the graph and display the equation using the table I just created. To get the graph, first select the table consists of all my x and y. Then click insert, sketch the graph, and choose a point graph. Let me get rid of the text series one here as I don't need them. To add the trend line, let me choose one of the points, right click, and add a trend line. 
do display the equation, make sure you click display equation on charge and then close. Now the equation has appeared. This is how you create a graph of a straight line from the table. Step 3. We are going to insert a vertical scroll bar to control the value of M. However, in order to view this control toolbar, you need to include developer tab in the Robin. This is how to include the developer tab if you do not see it in your Robin. First, you click the Microsoft icon, then select Excel option under the popular option. Make sure you click show developer tab in the Robin. Then you click OK. And now I'm going to click developer tab. And I'm going to insert a vertical scroll bar to control the M, which is here. And you place it somewhere here. So this vertical scroll bar is going to control the value of M. Step 4. Now we're going to edit the vertical scroll bar. In the design mode, we need to link the scroll bar to the value of M. And also set the maximum and minimum value of M so that we can change the value of M. This is how we control the value of M by changing the properties of this scroll bar. First, we select the scroll bar and then click properties. And the current value, we're going to change it to 2. The minimum value of M is going to be 0. And maximum value of M, I'm going to set it to 5. Increment value will be 1. And this value M we know is contained in E4. So we type E4. And then click OK. Then the value of N will be controlled by this scroll bar. Now let's get out of this by clicking outside the scroll bar. By clicking on the scroll bar, you will find that the value M changed. Therefore, the graph will also change. What I have just demonstrated is to test the scroll bar. Note that the value of M and the equation and the graph display have changed when I click the scroll bar. Unfortunately, when the graph change, the scale on the vertical axis also change. How do we solve this problem? Now I'm going to fix the vertical axis because the graph changes and the vertical axis also change. I'm going to set the maximum value of Y display to be 25 and the minimum value of y to be minus 5. And this graph will always fix the vertical axis. So now I click on the graph and in the vertical axis value, I'm going to right click and format axis. Now I'm going to fix the minimal value to be minus 5. I'm going to fix the maximum value to be 25. And the rest will be alright. I'll click close. Now, 
I test the scroll bar again. Notice that when I change the value of M, but the vertical axis will not change. So I click decrease the value of M to 1. Notice that the equation will change, the graph will change. Again, the vertical axis remain. What I have just demonstrated is a slider control for M to view the dynamic graph of Y equal MX plus C when M change. Can you create a scroll bar to control the value of C range from 0 to 4? Thanks for watching.